it is preparing. Okay. Hey see there, us. Yay, we're here, I think. Yeah. There, Ray, see us. All right, so I am Amanda Middleton, and this is Kara Snyder. And just give us a couple of seconds. We are going to share this onto our groups. And while we're doing that, just let me tell you a little bit about the group. It's called The Purposeful Woman, and it is there. If you've got purpose and you're a woman, you seriously need to be there. So um, we're going to share that to the group right now, but we, like I said, I'm Amanda Middleton. This is Kara Snyder, Hi. and we are the Purposeful Woman Podcast, and today we are going to be talking about the comparison game, mm -hmm. um, because we all struggle with it, we all do it, and yeah, it's just hard. We took a, a poll a couple of weeks ago, I don't know if y'all remember this, but we took a poll and we asked you the things that you kind of struggled with. And of course, we wrote down things that we struggled with. And this was one of them as well. And this one ended up being the winner. Um, I was a little surprised. Were you here? Yeah. I yeah. was. It seemed like everybody checked comparison. I mean, yeah. I was a little surprised, but I don't know why. Because, I mean, we all do it. I do it. And, I, but I think sometimes I don't realize that I'm even doing it whenever I do it, you know? Yeah. So maybe that's why it was such a surprise. I don't, I don't know, but yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to share it also on our other page here. Sorry guys. And then we're going to get started. And if we you can hear us, let us know if you're watching live, just so we can know that it's working. Yes. Seriously. Okay. At the end of the podcast, we're also going to be having a Q&A. So yes. if you'd like to stick around at the end, we would love to hear from you. But for right now, we can't really see your comments. Yeah. So, but at the end, we will definitely um, be able to see and we want to chat with all of you. Okay. So I think we've got all of that situated. Yes. All right. So the comparison game. So first and foremost, what is the comparison game? You want to explain what the comparison game is? Oh. <laughs> if I really knew what it was, that would be great. I would feel like a millionaire. But I think um, the comparison game is something that we play without, like you were talking about, first of all, without even realizing we're playing it. And then we get in it and we don't know how to get out. But I think the comparison game is where we are looking at for us, for women, we're looking at other women and we're looking at what they're doing and what they're accomplishing. And we're looking at what we're not doing. Like we're looking at them at what they're doing as a mom or what they're doing as a business owner or what they're doing, you know, it, with their life, with their gifts and their talents. And then we sit back and instead of looking at what, we've accomplished we look at what we're not doing and then we start I think comparison and then you can tell me what you think I think comparison puts us in a shaming state and we start shaming ourselves not just comparing but then shaming so I think that adds another element into that game when we start playing what do you think oh yeah I mean yeah we definitely start shaming ourselves because we're like well we're not doing what she's doing you right. know or we don't look like she like, or, mm -hmm. you know, or we even hold ourselves back from doing certain things because we don't look a certain way that we don't right. hit that mold. And I think the main thing that I always think about is a mom told me one time, and I think all of us can relate to this, especially after having kids, you know, um, cause after having kids, things change, you know, your body is yeah. certain changing never goes back <laughs> yeah. never, never goes back the same exact way no. they look different but it all know, looks different yes it all looks different so I mean I can remember a mom telling me she just didn't want to go to the beach or she didn't want to go to the pool because 
you know, she didn't want to get into her bathing suit. And it wasn't so much about what she looked like to herself. It was what she looked like to somebody else. And yeah. she was comparing herself to these other people, you know, at the pool. And, you know, you can't help but just think, I mean, gosh, she's missing out on so much. And I think all of us miss out on so much whenever we compare ourselves. I know I compare myself. The biggest thing right now that I compare myself with is business. Mm -hmm. I'll see people online and I'm like, ah, how is she doing that? How is she, you know, but I don't see what's going on behind closed doors. I don't see what she struggles with. I don't see what her everyday life is. And it, she makes it look easy, Mm -hmm. you know, but I mean, you want to make it look easy to an, an extent that's her job but in the same sense she this is why I love Instagram stories have you gotten into Instagram stories yet I'm getting I'm getting better I'm getting there that's why I love getting into Instagram stories because I show the back end of what really goes down you know yeah the behind the scenes yeah Yeah. and like on I'm just going to show you this because Instagram I love Instagram but whenever you go to my profile see if you can see it there tilt it ah, tilt there it oh, yeah. tilt. it looks got so it. pretty doesn't it it looks so pretty I do that on purpose I mean because I want people to go oh those are pretty pictures but that's not showing what's behind the scenes behind the scenes is a hot mess um even right now I wear I'm wearing my workout pants <laughs> Got my monkey pajama pants on for all of you to know. <laughs> I mean, wait, so you are who you are and it's not worth comparing all the time. You miss out on so much of the journey too. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? I would, I do. And, and when you're talking about um, the story with the lady in her swimsuit, not wanting to go. Well, so I fell, I fall into this trap a lot. This is one of the ones that I struggle with. Um, and even in my life, I mean, I, I did have an eating disorder because I tried so hard to look perfect and look just right, you know, or whatever. And I still find myself struggling with that. So Sunday, um, the girls, our daughters wanted to go to the aquatic center. And so I convinced my husband, it's Father's Day, you should spend time with your kids at the aquatic center with the rest of Coleman, Alabama. And so we went, but I put on, I kid you not, three different swimsuits. Three different ones because I was like, no, I look like this, or this is showing weird, or this is going to look weird, or when I walk by, what are they going to think? And so I was so caught up in that. I It took me probably 30 minutes while we were at the pool to just chill out and get over it and realize nobody is looking at me. They are here to have fun with their family, just like I'm here to have fun with my family. And but I was so caught up in comparing myself, like you were talking about that I missed out on part of the fun, on part of the journey, you know, and and even um, my four-year-old Allie Grace, she was sitting there eating Sour Patch Kids. I mean, you know, that was their supper, I feel like, but she was like, mommy, this is the best day ever. And I looked at her and I was like, this has been a great day. And I missed part of it because I was comparing what I looked like for for no reason. There was no, no reason to do that, but comparison just gets you wound up and wound tight. And so I compare myself a lot in that way. And I even compare myself um, just like with our, you know, God has given all of us different gifts and talents. And so I will take mine and I'll compare to what other people are doing. And, and that's not how the body works. I mean, just like, we have arms and we have legs and we have eyes and a nose for a reason. We're not all gifted the same way. And so God wants me to use my gifts and work on my talents instead of looking at, well, this is what she's doing. This is what I should do. That's not what God created me to do. So those are, those are what I, at the end of the day, when I'm by myself, that's what I struggle with. Those things. I still struggle with those things. It's kind of like you lose your voice. You lose yeah. your identity whenever you're comparing yourself or whenever you're wanting or you're trying to be somebody else or something. Yeah. You lose your identity. You lose your value. And, you know, I 
I'm talking about business here, but I did that, especially at the beginning of business, trying to be, well, this is working for her, so it must work for me. But then in the, I lost a lot of my readers on my blog. I lost a lot because I wasn't, wasn't Mandy anymore. Right. Yeah. It was my voice. It was somebody else's. And I was just trying to duplicate or do something and compare myself constantly. So yeah, you lose that sense. So why is the comparison game so dangerous? And it's kind of like we just said, I mean, there's so many reasons why it can be dangerous. First of all, I mean, your self-confidence, you know, everybody's at different stages in their life and it's, you can't, compare apples to oranges either you know everybody's behind the scenes and family life and their bodies and everything just looks it looks different and for everybody it's different so it I know with me it's just it has made my self-esteem go down at times and then you've got to you you just got to reevaluate everything and go scratch that that may work for her but it's not going to work for me. And I can't compare apples to oranges, but it's hard to get out of that state. Seriously. It is hard. And I think, I mean, if we think about it, if we just sit and think for just a minute, I mean, there are what bill seven or 8 billion people mm-hmm. on this earth and not one looks the same. Not one has the same fingerprint, not one nobody is, is the same. And so, you know, the Bible tells us that God knitted us together. And so if he took the time to make billions of different people, there's a reason for it. Right. There is a reason for it. And so, you know, it's dangerous, I think, because we put ourselves in the God role. I I think I I do that. We kind of be like, I know better than you do, God. So, and, and that's, it's not a good place to be because like you, like you said, I mean, and amen, you know, our self-confidence is just shot. I mean, it's gone because we're not embracing. We're not embracing who he made us to be. We're, We're, it's like, I have found myself sometimes I think saying, you messed up when he didn't mess up. He did not mess up. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Let me tell you, God, how to do your job. I mean, that is just that is insane. What I, mean. I never really thought about that. I mean, you're telling him, hey, you messed up. What did you yeah. do? <laughs> you messed up. You're messed up right now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, oh, man. But it does. I mean, and it, it comparison it freezes you. It makes you stop. It makes you stop living your life. Yeah. And, and, and what, what do we miss out on? Because we stop living. We, we stop living. We stop doing what we were created to do. Right. And like you said, you, you were missing out a little bit with your kids and yeah, about, you know, a big chunk of my business for a couple of months because I was trying to do what other people were doing. And, you know, we all live and learn from those things, but and I found myself comparing, not even thinking about it. And then later on, I'll go back and go, what, what, what did I do that for? Right. I, actually, I was talking to Karis yesterday because I did a hard workout yesterday. And of course, I was thinking, why do I do this to myself every <laughs> Monday morning? But anyway, so of course, the video, I did, chose to do a video yesterday. And I was like, <sighs> why and I've found myself getting mad at the the girl that was teaching the class because she's like this big around and I was comparing and I was like why is she even doing this video anyway I was so mad and I was but I didn't realize until afterwards it's like maybe you're comparing apples to oranges I mean of course I was just mad because my butt was on fire too (laughs) (laughs) but we find ourselves comparing in different places and no matter where we've been or where we come from or what we're going through at that moment, you know, you still fall into that trap and it's an everyday process of trying to, you know, deliver yourself out of it. I mean, just like overcoming something, you're going to overcome it every day. I mean, it's just going to be an ongoing thing. 
So comparison's the same way, but they want to catch it, and you're like, you know, especially if it's in the middle of it, and go, no, I'm not doing that. You know, I didn't catch it until afterwards, which I wish I would have caught it in the middle. But I mean, at least whenever you catch it and you know what you're doing, then you know. Yeah. 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 And that, I guess, that kind of brings us. So, what do we do about it? Yeah. You know, when you find yourself comparing to other people you know as you go through your journey and you start really you know really working on yourself and really taking a lot of time for yourself and self-care I think it kind of it comes um you stop comparing as much or you stop in the middle of it or you notice what you're doing whenever you're doing it you know, yeah. I would really have to say it comes with self-care first, doesn't it? Wouldn't you say? I mean, you really got to take care of yourself first. Yeah. I mean, you've got to stop looking at others. Right. Because you can't take care of yourself mm-hmm. if you're so busy and so wrapped up in Whatever. what other people are doing. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's just no way you can do that. I was reading this yesterday. I don't know if you've read this. Anybody, if y'all read this before, I've never read this first. Galatians 6, 4, and 5. Each of you should test your own actions. Then you can take pride in yourself alone without comparing yourself to someone else. For each one should carry their own load. I read that and I was like, wow. Step back. Take pride in yourself without comparing yourself. And each one should carry their own load. And it was like... The Lord kind of said to me, what your load is laying over there on the ground. What have you left? What have you left? All this that I have created you for is laying over there on the ground because you're watching all these other people with, with their load. And, and you know what? They could in turn be watching you and watching me carry our load. And, and what are, maybe what are you leaving on the ground? Because we're so caught up in watching other people right and I think you know that's where the enemy wants us because he knows if we're so caught up in comparing we're not going to be be busy doing what we were created to do and he knows that if you do what you're created to do you're going to be dangerous because you're going to be impacting life you're going to be impacting tons of people around you so you know I think maybe maybe we should step back today and say you know what Maybe I should write down all that God has allowed me to do. What have I accomplished in my life? And, and, you know, give ourselves a pat on the back to say, look at what I've done. And and there's still a a load over here that God has for me to carry. So I think that's one thing that can help us. What do you think? Oh, yeah. And again, that's self-care, taking care of yourself. And yeah. Absolutely. And you know, that verse kind of reminds me of this isn't the topic at hand, but it kind of reminds you not to judge others because you got to carry your own load, sister. Yeah. I mean, right. You know, so it kind of goes with, yeah, it kind of goes over there too because it makes you stop and think, you know, because we all find ourselves in that situation sometimes. So, yeah, I agree. It's kind of like just count your blessings. Count your blessings. Be thankful. Be thankful. And it, so, go ahead. I was going to say, and give yourself some grace. Yes. You know what? We, I think we're our own worst critic. I know I am. Oh my goodness. I can find every flaw that you could ever imagine. I think we're our own worst critic. I think we need to step back and just give we're ourselves yeah, some, some grace. We're human. We're not perfect. I mean, and I think we demand perfection from ourselves when even God I mean he knew he knew we were not perfect and we needed help so I think pride that's another thing you know yeah swallowing our pride whoo that's a hard one for me we ladies. all have pride and sometimes mm. we don't even realize yeah we all do and yes. just yeah letting pride if we could let go of pride how much further would we all be working together yeah Yeah, that's powerful. I mean, think about it. Seriously. Yeah. So, I mean, seriously, comparison goes over into so many different avenues. And it's just like this hub 
where all of these issues come from. And, you know, it's, and it consumes your brain and it consumes you. It starts worry and it starts fear and it starts all those things that can just escalate into other like anxiety, depression. depression yeah. And it's no place to be and no place to live. And it's very hard. Once you get deep into it, it's hard to come out, but you, that's where that self-care, reading the word, you know, really start, you know, and I had a client actually just the other day, I did, I got her to do this. And then I also put it in one of my groups, I think too. I told her, I said, really sit down and write down everything that you're thankful for and focus on one of those things. Right. Day. you know just one thing that day and think about what you could do to better that one thing or you know just sit and meditate with it and pray on it in that one thing and I found myself in points of my life where I it was hard for me but I would take the, I don't know if any of you have read my blogs or watched my lives but I love and of course I can't find any right now oh sticky notes. I have sticky notes everywhere in my house and I will take them and put Bible verses on them or just a reminder of what I should be grateful for. So every day she went and she wrote what she was grateful for. She plastered it all over the place. And so she was, when she would get into that negative thinking, that stinking thinking that we all get into, you know, she was shown this one thing that she was grateful for. And honestly, I, there are days where I need to go back and do that too and take my own advice. And I kind of forget about that, you know, because you just fall into that trap and that you're just the trap of thinking about it constantly and it consumes Mm -hmm. you. And then just like if you replay a conversation in your brain of something, a little confrontation, confrontation, but it could be something so minor, but three hours later in your brain, it is, it was a knockdown drag out fight where you were punching each other in parking lot. I don't know, but you're, you know, it's escalated in your brain and that's what you, that's what you start doing. So that's what comparison does too. And it's just hard. So, yeah. So we challenge you today or this week for the rest of the week to just walk in gratefulness when you start seeing those things pop up, you know, reach for one of those sticky notes if you have to and be reminded of what you're grateful for and really meditate and pray on that yeah. instead of meditating on the negative yeah. you know, and the yeah. comparison part of it. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Yeah. Change, change the voices that you're, that you're hearing yeah. in your head, you know, replace it. That's one thing that I, um, when I journal, I'll, when I was in a, cause I did allow comparison, put me leaving into a, a, a dangerous place. I had to change what I was hearing and change what I was saying to myself, you know, instead of saying you're not good enough for this, or you can't do that. You know, I'd have to change it and say, you know, well, right. I was created for a purpose. I can, I can do this. You know, with God's help, I can do this. You know, I have been fearfully and wonderfully made and and like you're saying, even with the sticky notes, putting that stuff everywhere. And once you change what you say, you change what you hear, you're, you're changing your environment. Then I think we can get pulled out of that comparison game. And maybe sometimes you got to change who you hang out with. Yes. So, yes. you know, your, your friends, who's your, who are your friends, you know, and sometimes you got to change your environment and change those people that you are letting speak into your life you know it's okay to put up a boundary and and change that you know and love from a distance so powerful words are powerful yeah yeah I mean I can still hear what people said to me when I was a kid oh yeah you know what I mean so I mean words are they have an ever everlasting effect on you so so changing all that and and just even, you know, when you're being thankful and having gratitude, ask God to, to give you an opportunity to help somebody else. That's something that helps me. I, when I stop focusing on myself and I'm like, okay, if I get too inward and I'm looking so negatively at myself and I just say, who, who can I help today? 
Right. Who can I who can I encourage today? Mm-hmm. And if we are taking care of ourselves and encouraging each other, right? What, I mean, that would look completely different. Right. Yeah. And I know we only have a couple of minutes left, but you know, I was gonna say to you, you know, this week too, go through your social media. Yeah. Because y'all this thing is so powerful and you know there is nothing wrong with (laughs) blocking and releasing if you watch any of my lives or read my blog that is one of the number one tips that I've ever given is I mean block and release love and release I mean you you just gotta let go sometimes and there's nothing wrong with that if that person is spewing negativity all over the place I mean you just don't need it. Just hit the unfollow button and friend them, block them, do whatever you got to do. If they trigger you, I mean, and you're playing that comparison game with them and it's only in your brain, they have no idea what's going on. Just hit the unfollow button for a season. Yeah. You know, that's it. And then in a couple of months, whenever you kind of have gotten over that comparison game with them, flip them back and yeah. they don't have to know. This is about you. And I think a lot of times as women, especially with social media, we're like, oh God, I don't want them to know that I unfriended them. But seriously, who are you hurting more than anything? You're hurting yourself because if you're being triggered by them, by comparing yourself to them, no, it's not their issue, but you got to get past the issue. So if that's the only way that you can get past the issue, sister, do it. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, just do it. I've had to block and release. There have been people that have been ugly to me. So I block and release. Those aren't as hard to do, but the ones that don't realize that you're playing that comparison game, they don't have to know. I mean, they really don't. Yeah. It's your health. It's your health. Yeah. Seriously, your mental health. And what you see on Facebook, what you see on Instagram, all of that is not, yes, it's their real life. Right. But that selfie that they took was probably like the hundredth selfie yeah. that they took. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, and it may have a filter on there also. So, right. yeah. or that food that they're eating that looks so fabulous. I mean, yeah. like my blog pics that I use or Instagram pictures. That is like the thousandth picture that I've taken, you know, so you can't compare that to yourself. You seriously can. I think social media is, is the best thing in the world, but then again, it can be the most, the worst too. It can be the the devil's playground. Yes. Yes. It can be. So you do wisely. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You, you're in control of your Facebook page, of your Instagram page, of your opinion. You're in control. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Do it. If yeah. they've got a problem with you letting them go and they find out about it, you know, so be it. I will. Yeah. But you're, it's your, and you got to think about it like that. It's your mental stability. If you can't handle it. You can't handle it at the time. So yeah. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, I totally agree. I know I've had to take um, breaks from social media. I've had to uh, right. fast, you know, from social media to just because we allow ourselves to get so consumed with what are they posting? What are they doing? You know, what is it that they're up to that we stop? Again, we stop living our life. We stop carrying our own load. Because we spend, I mean, I've sat down and done it before. I sit down and just want to scroll through Facebook or Instagram. And an hour later, I'm still sitting there doing this number, you know. And and what, (laughs) how is that, how is that helpful? How is that, you know, helping myself? How is that helping other people? How is that adding value? So, you know, I think we have to be, we have to be smart, Nine. about our social media and you know if we want to tell our tell teenagers and college age students and even preteens you know be careful about social media well hey adults 
be careful about social media. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, you know, that goes for us too, because what we post, I mean, this is for all of us. It's our highlight reel. It's not our behind the scenes. And maybe we should start posting our behind the scenes, our mess to say, hey, this is real life. These are my kids screaming and this is my house is a mess. And yeah. this meal turned into whatever, or, you know, here are my monkey pants, you know, here they are, you know, <laughs> just like. And it's so funny because now I, you know, once I really flip my blog and my business around to being like, okay, I'm a real person. Real. real. What you, this, this is going to be real. And every time I go to post something that is so real, something goes so wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it always does, but it makes it even more real. So, I mean, yes. And, you know, I struggle with that. I struggle with a lot of that, you know, with Facebook, especially, yeah. you know, yeah. we all do. So I'm, just bless and release. Let it go. Comparison mask off. Take it off. Just yeah. let it go. Let but it yeah. Go. Comparison, the comparison game. All right, all right. So, are we ready? Let's see if anybody is on. So we okay. Can take questions really fast. Uh, all right. Let me see. Oh, y'all been writing. Um, Angie says, "Yay!" Oh, I love it. Hey, Angie. Um, Candice, will this be available for me to watch in a little bit? I hope so. Yes, yeah. it'll. Be <laughs> that you are on right now so you can watch it and then we're also going to put it up on websites on youtube yes. send it an email all this kind of stuff um becky hey becky becky says so good um uh angie says yes ouch putting myself in the god role yes it's so stinking hard I, and Kristen says hugs to you. Oh, hey, Kristen, hugs to you too, my friend. Um, I saw some more and now I can't get it to scroll down. Let's see if we can. Do you see any more? Are you seeing? I was looking to see. Grace says, we all have a role to play in this world and in God's plan. No one is perfect, but joy comes from knowing that God made you the way you are. We as women struggle with the comparison game. Our focus has to become Loving ourselves and loving others lift each other up. Yeah, exactly. Taking care of yourself. And then like Kara said, you know, you go inward, well, go outward and see what you can do to help somebody else. And, and, you know, on that note, that's exactly why Kara and I do this. Yeah. Because we struggle, we struggle just like y'all do with all of this stuff. And, you know, I have a hard time on social media. Y'all probably don't realize it because I post quite a bit, but I do it to encourage others. And I do it because I'm struggling with the same thing. Usually if I post a meme, I'm struggling with it too at the time, or I either, I just came out of it. So, you know, just like with that Facebook and social media stuff, you gotta have to have a happy medium with it. But, um, but yeah, it's just, you've got to focus more on others. And it, honestly, that's why I kind of like this was birthed a little bit. Um, we've been there. We've done that. We may be a couple of steps ahead of you. Yeah. You know, but we've been there. We know how you feel. And we may go back into that place tomorrow too. Just like I said, every time you overcome something, you're going to overcome it every day. It doesn't yeah. mean you're not going to struggle with it ever again. I mean, this right. is life. So, you know, it's part of taking off that mask and encouraging and being real. Being real. The more real we can be, the less room there'll be for comparison. And the less room there'll be for anxiety depression yeah. because especially women put so much pressure on ourselves to compare and we're comparing apples to oranges yeah I mean I have no room to even compare with Karis Karis has no room to compare with me because we're at totally different places in our journey yeah. we have the same values we have the same you know a lot of the same things but still her everyday looks different than mine so I can't I can't compare that. Right. You know? 
And when, and I have to carry my load and you have to carry your load. And right. when we're all doing what we were created to do, carrying our load, mm. there's no, there's no time to compare. Right. Cause we're being busy about what, what we were created to do, our purpose mm. to do. Right. Well, I think that is all the questions we have for today. So awesome. thank y'all so much for being here. And um, we will be back in two weeks. Yes. That is on, oh, sorry guys, actually on the 4th. So, so yeah, we will be back and we may be switching some things up um, here pretty soon. But for right now, you can find the podcast here on our pages. Also, yes. if you would like to join the group, The Purposeful Woman, like I said, if you have purpose and you're a woman, you seriously need to be there. You'll get health tips. You'll get, um, I mean, just encouragement. Just, and everything. Yeah. just go. It's just cool. It's awesome. And we have a good sisterhood there. I mean, everybody very sweet. So, yeah. So thank y'all for being here. And we're so glad that you tuned in. And if you're catching the replay, Please make sure that you comment because me and Karis love to go back and say hey to all of you. So until next time, we will see you then. Bye, guys. Bye.